how's everybody doing there tonight so i've been working hard on this front clip here and went ahead and uh did pull the hood back off so we're not gonna set it on there anymore but uh got a couple goodies on the way and it'll be long we'll be cleaning that up it looks worse on camera than it is in person here but uh i gotta figure out i gotta get this molding off without messing anything up so i'd be real careful with that because like i do everything else if you've seen the videos i take everything down on both sides this side and the outside and the exterior of it down to bare metal because i like everything to be cleaned up and done properly so anyway so i've been working on this front clip and uh coming up with some ideas here and i'll show a couple things i know the video is a little dark but i really wanted to get this up because this is kind of important to me so i went ahead and i went to uh lowe's there went to the blue store i love the blue store that's my favorite store but uh i got this brace here and got some bolts and some lock nuts and what i'm trying to do is make a couple braces for this stuff and I'm going to make get another one of these pieces. They're a little pricey, but I'm going to get another one put down here so our fenders don't flex. And uh, that's why I got that. And uh, that way we can take and uh, have a little strength in this front clip here. And that'll help kind of mock things up. That's why I'm doing this too. It's just to be able to mock stuff up. So when we are ready to sit on our Bel Air, it'll hold everything together. And... Uh, make it really nice so uh plus it just you know it's just nice to be able to hold stuff together and kind of get an idea for things but working on trying to get inner fenders i'm hoping i'll get some soon i hope because i want to get them next and then figure out something about quarter panels and tail light panel i gotta get that too but i think i'm gonna wait a little bit on that but we'll see we'll see i gotta get these inner fenders because i want to wrap this up but uh it's gonna be cool but this is all i did here it's just got a couple bolts here. They're just, that's actually the size bolt it would be. They're a 3 8 16 bolt. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the thread it would be originally anyway on this car. And got some uh, big washers. I had to notch them out just a little bit on the edge right there so they would, you know, go around this, uh, be centered up correctly. So I did that. And then I also, if I have to, I could slot this again just a little bit, just slot this so we can got movement between the fenders, you know back and forth here and uh that's just kind of what i come out with so just cut a couple washers there bolted it up same thing got a lock nut on there and, got and everything kind of mocked up so i really wanted to show this i mean it's nothing real special here but it's just gonna be kind of cool so ain't nothing really special so here's this side but that's what we got, and I'm going to make another one for down here at this hole down here. So I'm going to make one there, and I'm going to make one right here too. And uh, that old tire front end all together so that when we bolt our inner fenders whenever I get them, I can uh, hopefully be soon. But uh, we can kind of mock everything up. It'll hold everything together and nothing will move. That's the main goal of it. And... Uh, the good part is we can unbolt all this stuff and when we go to put it on our Bel Air, we can take and uh, it'll help mock everything up. So these are definitely a little pricey, but they're pretty strong. Uh, you know, you, it doesn't have to be terribly thick. This is 16 gauge, so it's it's pretty thick. So it is 16 gauge. So And uh, keep in mind, I mean, give it like probably... A couple rains and i know it'll probably be rusty and everything else so i'll probably end up throwing some paint on it you know but it looks pretty cool i like that and uh thought about making braces for the doors too you know this stuff is temporary we're not hurting anything we're not disturbing anything we're using our original factory holes here and uh it just makes it nice it puts some strength in this front end here so now you know once we get another brace on the bottom there that'll keep our fenders from moving in and out and i uh, got our radiator support on the front here and this will really help this will help things it'll stiffen up a little bit 
and I'll help mock stuff up. So one thing I really kind of digging right now, and I think it looks cool as heck, is uh, I'm looking at that brace right now, and I'm seeing a firewall. So now I'm kind of getting more, you know, kind of picture more things in my mind here. And uh, that's roughly about where the firewall would be. So uh, that's pretty cool. So I might keep that in mind there. But, uh, you know, obviously it's going to have a little curve to it. And kind of look at our fenders here. And uh, kind of look like the outline of the firewall is kind of, you know, right there. Kind of see a little bit in the fender if you look right there. You can kind of get an idea of it. And you can also take it and get an idea on this side as well. So, you know, I like to take make little details like this. It's hard to see it, but it is there. You can kind of see the clean spot where it kind of goes up and kind of curves like that. So, gives you a good idea. So, that would have been where the uh, cow section was, where probably the fresh air vents and all was. But just to give an idea. I'm trying to figure out how these inner fender bolt on the back of this brace right here i'm not quite sure but uh, i know they bolt to it but i'm gonna have to figure that one out and there's another brace up here as well where the battery that's underneath the battery mount and i have not found new pictures of how the battery is correctly supposed to be mounted i know it's supposed to be you know it's turned sideways a little bit so i know if we're looking at this direction like right here it would have been like this so it would have been uh, vertical there but you know i know what the position it's turned but what i'm trying to figure out is the little brace that goes underneath of it and uh i know what it looks like but was it a battery tray on top of that or you know i might figure that out because it's hard to find pictures of it because you know nine times out of ten is a lot of them are rotted out right there just the battery acid just eats them all to pieces and uh <laughs> it's hard to find a good original one that uh probably is uh you know not eat up where it has a good picture of just for reference so i had to, i gotta figure that out yet so the, the battery would have been right there and there was a vacuum reservoir in about right in here and then you got your brake booster right there and then steering column all that stuff and of course you got eventually it'll be a uh, 360 in here so we a 360 with the four speed so it looks cool you know if you just kind of cover that up a little bit if you take your hand kind of cover that up just like that just a little bit looks like we got a firewall so anyway i wanted to do this and uh nothing special here but this is just uh, something I like doing just to brace it up, put some strength in it. So stuff is, you know, we're taking care of it and, you know, giving the Plymouth the respect it deserves here. So anyway, all right, I'll see you all later. Bye.